funnel plot is an essential diagram that is produced when performing meta-analysis. The plot is used to uh, examine and assess whether there is a publication bias and the meta-analysis is a statistical method that combines results extracted from several independent clinical or research studies that addresses the same scientific or medical or research questions aiming to generate an overall uh, effect size calculation from pooling all the results from those separate studies. If you find this video useful, do subscribe uh, to the channel and uh, press on the notification icon and hit the like icon and share the video with others. So to keep supporting the channel and growing the channel and to continue publishing different videos that covered wide scope in statistical analysis using different software such as SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistics, and GraphPad Prism. So what is a publication pious? A publication pious occur when studies with statistical significant effect sizes are highly likely picked chosen selected and published than those studies with no significant effect size so there is bias in selecting which uh, data to include in the analysis based on the effect size so this is what is the mean of bias so this bias can lead to overestimation of the actual or true effect size which can deviate from making a final conclusion um, based on a pooled uh, result and based on the uh, meta-analysis. So to assess whether there is a presence of publication bias in meta-analysis and whether selected specific uh, um, significant uh, data or publication has been chosen and those that have no significant were deselected then the funnel plot can be drawn and a funnel plot is just visual examination of the uh, uh, distribution of the effect size for each study and another test that can back up the finding from the funnel plot is the Eagers regression test. When the funnel plot is drawn, usually it's packed up, supplemented and supported by a statistical method, which is the Eagers regression test. So this is the shape of the funnel plot that can be produced post meta analysis as shown here it is a scatter plot with an x axis that is have on it the effect size or sizes and on the y axis is the precision or the standard error so this graph is in a shape of a funnel inverted funnel and it will allow visual inspection of the distribution of these small dots here uh, under the funnel. So the graph will assess publication bias in meta-analysis. It is a scatter plot that displays study size effect estimate plotted against the one of these precision, which is can be a standard error or an inverse uh, standard error or a variance or an inverse variance sample size inverse sample size square root of a sample size and log sample size on the y-axis 
any of these measurements can be plotted and on the x-axis the effect size can also be plotted depending on the outcome from the um, uh, studies in which the data is in a format of a continuous outcome so if the outcome was continuous then the effect size can be used which is the mean difference or the standardized mean difference or, or and standardized mean difference can include hedges g Cohen's d glacius delta and also uh, uh, effect size can be a correlation coefficient which is abbreviated as r if the outcome from the publications those separate publications is binary or are binary then the odds ratio can be um, included here on the x-axis or the risk ratio or the hazard ratio to recap again funnel plot on the horizontal axis the effect size estimate from each individual study is plotted such as uh, smd or 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 rr or proportion or rates or correlation on the vertical axis is the measure of precision in this case is the standard error and as i described here the funnel shaped uh, plot has a line in the middle this line in the middle represent the overall calculated estimate effect size from the meta-analysis so this is the uh, pooled uh, estimate of effect size uh, in this case uh, hedges which is hedges g which is a uh, uh, continuous outcome and it is calculated through the standardized mean difference these uh, blue circles represent the effect size for each specific study with id for each study in the plot smaller studies that have an effect size estimate are usually scattered widely at the bottom of the plot. Larger studies will have higher precision and they are clustered closely to the top of the plot. So anything clustered here in that part indicates a larger study, large study, and anything uh, clustered or uh, distributed here is for smaller studies so uh, any of the estimate of the effect size so that is the benefit of drawing the funnel plot the objective of drawing funnel plot is to check and assess whether there is a publication bias and from this diagram or this funnel plot uh, it is clearly shown that the distribution of the uh, effect size is clustered into one part um, and they are um, unevenly distributed as the right section have higher number of uh, estimate of effect size and on the left side is smaller so this plot shows that there is publication bias based on visual ex uh, examination of the distribution of the effect size counting the number of circles on the uh, above the line here which is the overall uh, uh, effect size uh, compared to the uh, below it so when there is a publication bias there is asymmetrical funnel plot i.e the uh, distribution of the study effect size or sizes are unequal above and below the line of the overall effect size asymmetrical funnel plot shows that when there are missing region of a smaller studies with no significant results and also uh, asymmetrical funnel plots indicates that studies with no significant result were not published or were excluded from the meta-analysis so that is the uh, objective of drawing the funnel plot so which leads eventually to overestimation of the um, effect size as uh, selective exclusion of uh, certain studies uh, can uh, affect the overall 
uh, pooled effect size. So when there is no publication bias, the distribution of the effect size for each individual studies are equally uh, on the right section here to the left section here. So there is symmetry. So when there is no publication bias, there is symmetrical funnel shape in which equal distribution of study effect size above and below the central line of overall effect size estimate. So smaller studies scattered more widely around the central line representing the pooled effect size estimate. Last remark here before closing that the funnel plot uh, visualization when there is asymmetric and funnel plot it does not necessarily indicate uh, um, publication bias and when there is symmetrical funnel plot again again it does not necessarily rule it out so what do we have to do then we have to back up the observation visual um, examination and conclusion and conclusion based on the visual examination to back it up by a test which is eagers regression test